And welcome to another episode of the Double D Podcast. And we have our guest today. Old D. Two and tanks. Again, again. And oh. um, we've got... Need no introduction. We, you know me from now, the Boominator. But anyway, listen. We've got this guest. I love this guy, man. This guy! This guy right here. I'll tell you, he doesn't hold back. He doesn't hold back. And do you know what? He doesn't want to fit into any boxes. He's the... It's, it's just original. OD. Always a pleasure to see this guy. Thanks. Always a pleasure, bro. Thanks, bro. Always, man. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Is, and you know what? I, I think we should, we should just start off straight, get straight into the nitty gritty. Mm. I'm going to say one word mm. Time Booth. Mm. All right. And do you know what? Um, I don't, I'm going to be honest with you straight, straight right here. Um, I said, when he came on the show, I said to him, I said, do you know what? I think you're a troll. I said to the guy, I said, I think you're a troll. And I said to him, you know what, and this thing, you know, you, it's a very dangerous occupation you're doing. And someone's going to run up on you one day and stuff. And this thing, and you know what the funny thing about that guy is? He came on the show and then someone said something derogatory about me on Twitter. On this, you know, and he retweeted it. And I thought, <laughs> that guy's a snake. The guy was, he was doing the show with me, right? Oh, I called him a troll, which he is a troll. I call a troll a troll. I say what, how it is. And the guy retweeted something fuck you about me on Twitter. I thought, you know what, this guy's a snake, man, you know what I mean? So anyway, basically, I know you've had your problems with, with the guy. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, and this, and, and whatever, and, and stuff, we're gonna get onto that in a minute. But in the day, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, and, and I, I've heard that, I've heard that he, AJ, AJ ran up on him and kicked him out of his gym and stuff. I don't know the falls ins and outs, but that's what I've heard. And, you know what I mean? The guy talks about, he talks about disabled people, talks about people's children, he talks about, it's just about some fuckeries, basically. Fuckeries. <laughs> and you know what? Call a troll. A troll is a troll. It doesn't matter how many views you got. It doesn't matter how many followers you got. It doesn't matter how entertaining you come across. You, a troll is a troll. Mm -hmm. I saw it. I had to get off my chest. Mm -hmm. so I think the guy is going on some fuckeries. What you got to say? So, that time beef, obviously, I've known about him for some time. Yeah, yeah. He was a boxer. Yeah. He was a decent journeyman, you know, just to fire the time bomb, get knocked out, yeah. get his 500 pounds, whatever he gets paid. And uh, <laughs> you know, he's. You know, he came on and like he came online doing all this online stuff up on YouTube. Mm. And so I used to watch it. Mm. And so he messaged me one time. Mm. He was like, he was like, hey, he would, like he goes to me, hey, bro, has things, blah, blah, blah. I got it on my phone still, so if you don't want to see it after, I can show you. Yeah. He goes, like, hey, bro, has things. I'd like to meet up with you sometime. I'm coming down to Essex mm. uh, in a few days. I'd like to meet up with you. I'm mm. like, cool. Mm. Just give me a shout once you get here. And, mm. um, you know, and yeah, and let's meet up. And he was like, by the way, I know that I've said things about you online, but that's all in the past. I'm only doing this stuff for the hype and to get views. Um, it's not really serious, the things that I've been doing on YouTube, yeah, yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. So he kind of made peace with me. I'm not cool, man. You know, I don't really mind about all this internet stuff. It's all entertainment anyway. Yeah, yeah. So he got down to Essex and I was like, cool. I'm here now, but I'm going to Spain in about three days. So mm. if you want to come and meet me, then now's the right time because I'm gone in about three days. Mm. He was like, oh, I'm busy, but go Spain. And then once you get back, I'll meet you next time I come down. Mm -hmm. I'm not cool, so we're all cool. Mm -hmm. So next thing I'm in Spain and then he makes a certain video saying that I wanted to meet Ohara and, and then he ran off to Spain because I'm in London, because I'm in Essex. He was afraid and he ran off to Spain. <laughs> so all of his fans started coming online saying, oh, OD ran off to Spain, ran off to Spain. But I'm like, I've got all the screenshots on my phone. I still got it there now. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I don't really care about this guy. This guy, he's not relevant. He's a YouTube troll. Mm -hmm. He can't get paid for the thing because I think he gets about right, 60,000 views, mm -hmm. but he can't get paid for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so he can't. Because so the content is too explicit. Because the content is bullshit. It's yeah, it's bullshit. It's <laughs> bullshit. Bullshit. I've seen people that put things in line that are quite explicit that still get paid. Because yeah. With YouTube, they give every people quite yeah. decent leeway. Yeah. But it's bullshit what he does. And they know it's all bullshit. So what do you think he gets out of it? Because you know what I think? Because I always say that trolls are fans. So, a fan is yeah, a confused yeah. fan. So I'm, I'm not done yet. So yeah, basically, so right. he posted up a, a set of video and where he posted up a certain girl and he was like, this girl's hot, this girl jumped to my DMs and but she's hot. Mm. So what I've done, I hit it first. I hit it, I, I hit it first. OD! OD in the house! So Sammy posted up this word, he was like, this girl's hot. So you, you tapped his, his, his girl's I first. tapped it first. Yeah. And so what I've done, I'm, at, I'm at hers, I'm at, I'm, I'm at hers, I tapped it first. 
and then I, I take a selfie with her. I am like a tired beef. Hey bro, I saw you post up a video with this girl. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that. I just wanted to let you know that I hit it first. He's like, oh well, that's a nice edit. That's a nice edit. Because he thought that it, that, that it obviously wasn't real. Yeah. That's what I done. I took another screenshot. And what I done, I took a picture of his of I took a picture of the DMs that he sent her. Yeah. He was like, I'd like to introduce you to my mum. You're the kind of girl that I would like to wife. You're what? I'll introduce you to my mum. And what I done, I took a He was deep, he was deep, yeah. I took a picture Whoa. of it and then I sent it to him. I was like, hey bro, is this your combo or not? So you burn him? I burn him. And the next thing he was like, oh, but I don't care about her anyway. I don't care about her anyway. She's just some girl. She's just some girl. But I'm like, but you put, but you put her on your video. And I hit it first. Wow. And you know, he can say what he wants to say about me. Yeah. But when it's all said and done, I hit it first. You got the trophy. I hit it first. I but that's, that's the man's game anyway. Do you know what? Let me interject mm -hmm. here. Uh, some. I like Tyan. Tyan's quite funny. I do like all that controversy uh, bullshit he does. But it's like, just what it is. You controversy know what I mean? is meant to sell. If it doesn't sell, it's no. Bullshit. I understand, but he still gets views. He's not getting paid for it, but he's someone people like to go on because you know there's some humour there. He, he he pulls fun at people. He, he pokes and prods, and people do like to view. But, but many cost? people. At what cost? At what cost, man? I, I don't know what the he's cost. He's doing it. Man. He's um, doing it free of charge. You're online getting a hundred thousand views, but you're not getting a single penny. From it. What is the point? It's a waste of time, a waste of money, a waste of that. But you know what? What you got to appreciate is his time to waste. He can do exactly what he wants. He might have a plan for it. You know, maybe keeps him relevant. At the end of the day, remember, he's now that he's no, 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 he's relevant in people who watch him. He's got a fan base. He's made a, a position for himself, mm -hmm. and he's making himself relevant in whatever capacity he wants to. Now, if he wants to come back into boxing, he has somewhat of a fan base because two things happen here. You got fans who hate him. Um, or you're going to have fans who like him so you're going to have ones who's going to come to support him and you're going to have the ones who come to support him and see him get knocked the hell out so you know whatever it is he might I saw him say he's gone back in the gym he wants to come back and box and so on so it could be that I don't know but I mean he wants to be in and around boxing still he couldn't compete anymore his license was revoked um, and then he thought let me keep myself relevant let me attack all the boxers that are out there make fun at them and uh, you know, mm. keep myself relevant. But you understand that because you have not been a target of, of, okay. of his abuse. So first of all, I that, actually like some of the content, even if he is cussing certain individuals. Did he cuss you? Well, he, he, what did he, he say about well, you? No, he retweeted something. So what? Though? Fuck, fuck That's what man. people do on this. So what? Okay. Okay. I find this content quite funny myself. That's what I'm like, saying. Like, this guy's you know, a clown, a comedian. Like, yeah, that's his it is what it is. is. But anyway, so he can't get back into boxing for one because he can't get a boxing license again because mm. the boxing rules aren't going to give it to him back. Yeah. Two, the guy's shit. The guy can't box anyway, the guy's a journeyman. The guy got beat. This guy he got beat by everyone, so he's actually gonna come out to his fights. The guy's yeah. a journeyman, the guy's a journeyman. Like KSI would beat the fuck out of him, Logan Paul would beat the no, fuck they, out of him. They wouldn't they fight because the they money is not right anyway. I know, but, I know, but I'm the same. Maybe you should, you, you got issues. You should resolve that. your issues. Who? You and Ty Booth. Yeah. He's an ex-pro. I mean, I'm not. I don't think I'm on that level yet. But you know what, I, mean, I, 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 I won't turn that off. If the money's right, I don't turn that off. You should look in that camera and tell him, Time Biff, if you I'm want the smoke, you. if you want the smoke, the smoke is here, baby. <laughs> Listen, man, give me six weeks, man. Hey, put the money on the table, M-O-T, money on the table, well, and we can get this on, baby. The you money, get this on, money talks, bullshit can run a marathon. The you. money's right, the promoter's right, let's get it on. Well, what people need to understand is that Time Beast Money talks. Time Beast to complete no one. Can Time Beast, he's... The no Man. Time you're beast. nobody, Time Beast. You're nobody. Time Beast is like a fly that flies around the room and you're trying to get it out of the room. It's like a little fly. This guy, a troll. Man, a troll. Got, this guy's name holds no weight. He, he's a troll, name holds no I'm weight. a troll hunter. He's got no, I will hunt you down. He's got no talent. <laughs> Mate, I think Time Beast needs to have his say and needs to have get his um, anything he's got off on his chest. Time and beast. I think you two, he, he needs to, you, you, you seem to have a bee in your bonnet about him. I understand. No, 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 no. Imagine the days of Mike Tyson knew all that fucking was going on, man. Mike Tyson would have killed him. He's lucky he got away with, got away with we'll get out my gym from Andy Joshua. You can't talk about people like that. It's a dangerous occupation, man. Really? Come on, man. People, are, I mean, like, you know, there's jokes and jokes, but, but you know I'll what I mean? tell you why AJ don't care about him because he's yeah. not relevant. The guy's he's just like a little fly in the room. If he holds, if his name held, I think they actually way, did care somewhat, you know. Yeah, they cared, but, but this guy, kinda, but this guy's, but, but this guy's not big. He's, like, he's not big. He's like a no one. He's a troll. He's, like, a troll. he's got no talent. The guy's nothing. Well, troll. I swear to God, you was on the receiving end of the time. No, but wait. there's a difference how people react. I'm, I'm in a different. Wait, also, when I would have seen him, I would have, I would have. 
you know, brush them out. I've got one more point. Yeah. If you felt a certain way, you should have had a word. No, but I didn't. No, 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 and you, you didn't say it with I didn't say it, no, you extended to it afterwards. I never you watched it with your chest. So why didn't show. you DM him? Why didn't you, um, you um, inbox him on Twitter? You could have said something to him and said, you know what, buddy, when you're down, I'd like to see you face to face. Let's have a word, man or man or. And that's let it. Me, let, me, let me make one more point, yeah? For one, when I see him, I'm going to slap him. 100%. Boom! Boom! Tyrone McKenna, I told him the same thing. Listen, when I see him. He didn't slap him. But I didn't slap him, but I he grabbed him up. But with this guy. And he said, hold my phone! With this hold guy, my phone! With this guy, there ain't gonna be no cameras there. So I'm gonna slap him in his face. Alright, listen. Wait, I'm not done yet. Ali's, Ali's 37 years old. I'm gonna get past this. Ali's, yeah, Ali's 37 years old. Okay. And at that age, it's like you more. It's like you more think, you know what? I wanna have a decent life. I wanna be. I wanna be civilized. I might want to have kids, wife, girlfriend. This guy is 37 years old and he's a YouTube troll. Like that's how sad. Like, how it's sad. like that's how far this guy's how ambition sad. goes. He's got no ambition in life. Which ambition, man? If he was about 27 years old or let's say 15 to 20 years old, yeah. then it's fine. It's you, you know? man business. You man yourself. business. But You're a grown man. But seven. But at that age. 37. Is that what, that's what you aspire to be? This guy's got no wife, no kids. Nine. He's got no friends. Nine. He's got no job. Dead. He lives in the castle. Dead food. He lives you're dead out here, bro. You're dead out here. You're dead. This isn't the time I'm breathing. Yeah, um, you're dead out here. No, the castle. <laughs> You know, this no, is, this is, 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 is I like him again. to have his say. And when I see him, I just <coughs> slap him in his face. All right, we're, Dead we're, food. we're gonna see what happens then. But what I want to move on to quickly yeah. is the, the, the McKenna kid and what happened with them. We, we don't. We, we, we kind of got a synopsis of it from the video and, and whatever I was there that night. But let's not go too long into that. But let's give us a um your uh, uh, opinion. I'm there. You know, me and my boy Byfield um, and his boy was there, and then um, you know I'm like, cool. They got a shot over at the your call. Tyron McKenna's gonna be there. He was like, listen, man, it don't matter. It don't matter. After that, can go there three man deep. Let him and let him and all his ten to fifteen boys come out. Him and all his boys came out. I'm like, we don't give a touch. Three man deep. After that, went in there watching the boxing. Coogan calls me interview at the back, and then Tyron McKenna comes out. You're gonna do what? Listen, I'm like, listen, me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a different mindset now. I'm not trying to be that entertainer no more. No, no. I'm not trying to be that entertainer that I was when I thought that would happen. I'm not trying to sell these fights. I'm not trying to sell these fights. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to entertain the fans. I'm here. To, I'm. I'm here to fight. And if you approach me the wrong way, we're gonna get it on. Mm -hmm. So he approached me the wrong way. I can't. I have to quickly grab him up, throw him around the car, and he's lucky right that Coogan was there. If Coogan wasn't there. It would have been under ambulance, yeah. not under ambulance. <laughs> 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 and so what happened? I'm like, cool. This guy thinks I'm a. This guy thinks that I'm some monk. So this guy went inside, all just cooing, trying to hold me back. So I see him inside. I sat, I'm, I sat inside, and then he sat on the other side. I'm like, no, I'm not finishing. I didn't start this, but I'm gonna finish it. Mm -hmm. So I approached him again. Him in all of his ways, got up and blah blah blah. We got broken up. After that, I didn't see him again. He was gone. Him and all his boys okay, left. The, so they left. They left the. What's Europe. the situation now? Uh, um, in that competition, he's in the same competition. For, uh, for there ain't no situation. There ain't no oh. situation. I just he just approached me in the wrong way, and I grabbed him up. And if he does it again, the same thing can happen to him again, but even worse. There ain't no situation. There ain't no okay. beef. Just if anyone approaches me in that way, yeah, if anyone course. approaches me, that's that it. Way, that's they're just gonna get a man's a man, and, yeah, and they're, they're gonna, gonna do that yeah, if someone comes in their face yeah. and sets to them the wrong and way. And then his dad inboxed me on Facebook. On, and then his dad inboxed me on Facebook, Same saying, "Ah, oh, I'm gonna do you, dick." His dad, I'm like, cool, you're making your dad in front. I will do his dad the same way I was doing. Grab him in that same way! I will grab this guy's dad and slam him in the same way like I did the son. The same way. The same way. Alright, so let me ask you. You're going into the Golden Contract MTK show and it'll be aired on Sky. How are you feeling? Are you happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy with it. 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 I'm yeah, see um, how am I feeling? Exclusive. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. I'm in the best shape that I've ever been in. And I'm back in my first coach that I was with as an amateur boxer. Yeah, Tony Zito. So nice. You know, yeah, like me and him had a few issues and then mm -hmm. we stopped working together. I'm like, now we're back. And you know, this, this 
Like, like so you fell in love again? Kind yeah, of I'm back in love with this game, but the training's been super hard. Yeah. It's been super hard, but it doesn't feel hard because I'm enjoying it again. Yeah. Like it's different if you're if you're not if you're not enjoying it and you're, and and then the training is hard, you feel some way. But when you're enjoying it and the training is hard, it's hard work. It don't feel like hard work. It yeah. feels like easy work. Yeah. But when I go in there. They better know that I'm going to be in the best shape of my life. And what it would have taken to beat me in my last fight, it's going to take 10 times that. It's going to take a whole army to beat me in this next fight. Okay. Something totally different. Um, I think it was about a week or so ago now, a, fo a former opponent of yours, Taylor, versus Progress, he won the Super Series and, and, and beat you know, progress. What's your thoughts on that fight? Did you watch the fight? I didn't, I didn't see the fight. Oh, you didn't see it? But you obviously you clearly heard about it. Heard you, about didn't, it. you didn't see no highlights on... Um, no. Oh, on I don't really watch boxing. I don't really watch boxing like that anymore. No? no. So you see, obviously, because you know people put it on Instagram. Yeah. You're on Instagram. I see you on there all the time. Yeah. So you've not seen no clips of the fight at all? No. no. I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't seen a single clip of it. People that I follow, they put up a few pictures. I saw the pictures. Yeah. Just squat up. Like, I'm not focusing on what he on what the success that he has. I'm trying to focus on my own success, yeah. oh, on my yeah. own success. Mm -hmm. And he's done good. He's done big things. Great. Yeah, no, hundred percent. No, but obviously, you know, sometimes you take positives from things. Like you went in there with this guy. Obviously, um, you came up short. Yeah. And you know, like in your mindset, you know, like you're looking what he's gone on to achieve, yeah. and you're saying, well, you know, hopefully I can do this, or you look at this, or you know, like they're in the same division as yeah. you. So yeah. you know. You look at the the, the competitors, yeah. your, your yeah. rivals, and yeah. obviously you know we're in two, two totally two different places. But I mean, you still should be observing your surroundings, even if you're not keenly saying, "Oh, this person, that person." Mm -hmm. But just saying, "Okay, these guys are doing that." This I just know, I just know what I can do, and I know that I can take them anywhere, and I can beat anyone when I'm 100%. When I went to, when I went into that fight, we had a certain method that we used. When I was under Sims, I was under Tony Sims. We had yeah. we had a certain method that we used for me to win every fight. But when the Taylor fight came up, we introduced new things. Why? Because it was a big fight. We got a strength and conditioning coach. I've got nothing against him. I know him well. You know, nothing against him. He might even see this. We, I've got nothing against him. But the way that we, the method that we use for every fight, why did we change it up for that fight? I had me doing strength and conditioning two or three days a week. Going in there doing, like, doing weights. It, it's like the weights, it's like it wasn't heavy weights, but squats and stuff like that. I've never done that before because. I've never done that before. So once I went into the fight and my legs went, all the lactic acid built up. So once they went, they went. Mm -hmm. Once my arms went, they went. I was like my legs were gone in that fight, and they've never been like that in my whole boxing career up until that fight. Why? Because we introduced stuff that were that because we introduced these things that were new. I ain't gonna lie, he's a good. You know what I mean? That I thought a great guy, a good fighter, but I know that I wasn't 100. percent mm -hmm. I went into that fight slow. I was slow, sluggish. Focusing on my power, me and me and my coach at, at the time, it's like we didn't sit down once and watch a single Taylor fight. I know that I, I know that this guy was sat down watching my fights, but I, but me and my coach didn't sit down and watch a single mm. fight. Why? Because you got eight fighters in the gym. Eight. We, we got eight to ten fighters in the gym. We didn't sit down and watch a single take. Why? Because he's got to focus on everyone. Yeah, they can't put all the focus on, on like on me. So I know. I've got nothing against the strength and conditioning coach, but I know what I can do when I'm on my best. And for that camp, we changed things up, and I didn't feel, I didn't feel. Listen, inspiring. I, I used to, so I, I sparred guys for that camp. I used to score, and then I was getting scored against them. People don't know this. I was, I used to, I used to, I used to score certain guys inspiring. I'm sparring them. I'd be getting scored. I'd be like, oh, Tom, I don't feel, I don't feel like I've done good. Like, oh, it's a Friday, you're tired, you know, it's a Friday, you're tired, you know, it happens, you've worked hard this week. And I'm like, oh, God, cool. But in the back of my mind, I always, I always knew something's not right with me this yeah. time. Something's not yeah, right, you right with me this time. The same way for the last fight, something wasn't right. I went into the fight nervous. But when I fought David Matthews, but when I fought Scarpa, every fight before that, I was confident in this as hell because I knew that confidence comes from the hard work. And for the Taylor fight, I wasn't 100%. So let me ask you something. Obviously, you know, uh, are you continuing your strength and conditioning or is that something? That's a bit, that's, that's, a bit, that's a bit, um, I feel like it's about, so, you know, like in terms of a lot of athletes, mm -hmm. um, you know, swear blind and, mm -hmm. and, you know, say they get great dividends mm -hmm. from strength and conditioning. Um, I think it's bullshit. I think for one, it depends on your, yeah, okay. I think for one, it, it depends on your genes. It depends on your genes, different fighters, different colours, different for born for born in different countries um, in different places fast switch fibers. exactly yeah. all, all of our bodies are made differently and mm. like me being a black athlete 
You're the way that my, my the way that my body's built is gonna be different to how a, yeah. to how a white fighter is built. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not racism; it's just fucking. No, it's a fact. You just, just literally you got fast switch yeah, fighters. Yeah. You're literally on the more 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 flex. So 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 when you got eight fighters in the gym that are white, they might need all, all that work because yeah, their yeah. bodies yeah, are yeah. made in a certain way. Yeah, it makes sense. But mine's not made in that certain yeah. way. So what yeah. works for them, yeah. you can't give me the same blueprint. Yeah, yeah, you can't. Yeah, exactly. you can't give me. So what do you actually do then for your? Um, for your fitness, you do a lot of long run distance? I do, I do not, I do sprints, I do lots of sprints. I, lo- I, do, I don't do that many long runs, I do a few long runs, but I, do, oh. I, mostly, do, I'm, I'm, I mostly do my sprints. Yeah, I do my sprints, I spar, you run and you spar. You run and you spar, you focus so on that, that's proper old I school, focus right? and I focus on my tech, I focus on my technique, my head movement, my foot movement. I do a few pull ups every now and again, my god, my god makes me do a few pull ups, a few dips and stuff, but we don't do nothing too much. We, we, like we don't do anything, we don't do anything too much. And that's how it always was on the same until I thought Taylor. Okay. That's, that's how it always yeah, was. That's, you're, you're, you're probably doing it some old school yeah. stuff, but a lot of fighters swear by strength and conditioning. I don't know. I think for my brother Dylan, it, 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 it worked wonders for him. Mm. You know, the strength and conditioning infrastructure mm. that they, they put in down in Love well, the numbers. Even um, Dylan's, even the way that he's built, it's, it's a lot different to how other black yeah, fighters are built. No, 100%. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying in terms of yeah. the, that works yeah. for him. Yeah. Like you say, it doesn't work for everyone. Mm. Going, coming back to something else quickly, just there was a fight yesterday, Jack Cullen and Felix Cash, yeah. former mm. training partner of yours. Mm. Did you watch that fight? You don't watch I that? I watched that, but I put a bet down on that fight and a bet won. Is I it? knew how that fight, I, Listen, knew, that, I knew how it was going That was a hell of a fight. Anyone who hasn't seen it, uh, you know, I implore you to go and watch it. I that how- Jack Cullen though was on it. Yeah. He was kind of smoking him. Hey, that fight was a proper ball I, I knew that this guy he was going to get stopped. I knew it. That's why. I it, what, 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 what made you believe that? Because I watched when he fought uh, when he John, John Harden, yeah. and the way that he was fighting in, in the fight, he looked weak compared to Felix Cash. He looked he looked really weak. He didn't look as fast as him, strong, or have the heart and the grit that Felix Cash got. And I've seen Felix Cash in the gym and I've seen him fight and the hard that this guy's got and the strength, the power, the speed for one, he's not getting stopped. This guy can hit hard. I knew from hundred percent. He was catching him with some good body shots yeah. on Colin and it looked like and um, Cash was feeling him because he backed up a few times. He was feeling them. Um you know um but listen that was a, a barnstorm yeah. anyone like I said yeah. who hasn't seen it go and watch it. I think you'll uh, truly enjoy the fight. And um and even, it was good victory. even though he had a lot more experience than what Felix Cash had. I knew that Felix Cash has got it in him to get this guy out of there. Mm. I knew that that guy, that, that this guy came in fit because mm. if, he, because if he took him seven rounds, seven rounds, right? Or nine yeah, rounds. It could have been more than so that. it means that this guy was fit as hell and in his best shape. But I knew he hasn't got what it takes to like to take out Felix Cash. Felix Cash works hard. It's yeah. hard no, do you know what? I heard um, someone saying that he, he's a, he's a, he's a true professional. He works very hard in the gym. He's always in there. Yeah. <coughs> he's and applies himself. So yeah. credit to him. Mm-hmm. Good win. Mm-hmm. Um, did you know, but that fight, sorry, that fight was um, meant to have gone on a, a few times before and was yeah. called off at least two times previous to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was you at the gym at that time? Do you know what no, happened? No, I didn't that know what happened. No. Okay, well, what were you going to say? Did, did you want to watch the Canelo? Yeah, I was always going to get to that still. Okay. But, yeah, yeah. So if you want to go and talk about the Canelo fight, who was Did you watch Canelo? Uh, no, I didn't. He didn't watch, doesn't watch oh, any fights. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, just talk about the Canelo. Basically, the Canelo, Canelo stops um, Kovalev in the 11th rounds. And the thing, man, you know what I don't understand about about about, about um, you know you know when boxers have a fight is sometimes they now the the, the the you know the the people the reporters they ask some stupid questions afterwards. Mm-hmm. You know straight after they ask him, why didn't you why want to cover it? Why didn't you use your right hand? It's like I mean it's a bit of a stupid question. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean like you know boxers they try their best right yeah they go in there right they put it all on the line mm-hmm. and then they come in there and, and they get this bad bruise and stuff whatever just being knocked out and just got up on his feet and they ask him why didn't you use your right hand? What, what do you think was stupid about the question? Because basically, obviously, he, he didn't use it enough. He must have been trying. He must have been trying. No, he didn't use it enough. You don't think so? No, he didn't use it enough. He normally throws a lot more right hands. He didn't use it enough. I don't think. So it's like when I thought. It's, it's like when I thought Jack Kelly him and said, "Why didn't I use? I use? I use? I use mine." Yeah. You're only gonna do in a fight what you've done in the gym. Yeah, if you, yeah, if exactly. you're not, and if you didn't throw it, it, it like like people ask me why, I'm like because I didn't. Because I didn't. If you if you feel like. If you feel like you're able I like to go in there and do well like an even better job, I'd like to see you fucking. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 
Don't no, no, no. tell me how to box because and you, or you think that I'll do this wrong. I don't come into your job and tell you why are you holding a camera like this? Why don't you hold it like this? Or, yeah. or, 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 or why don't you stack shelves like this? No, I'll put the water bottle there. No, I don't tell you how to come and do yeah. your job. So, yeah. so you work and if you feel like I've done something wrong, then that's up to you. Think it at home and not say it because you don't know shit exactly about what it takes to go in the ring, the nerves, yeah, the hard work and the yeah. training. So, if you feel like he's not throwing it up it, it that much, maybe because his opponent. Might have trained for that, but you know what? It could be game. But, 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 but he did give a good answer. He said the reason why I didn't show throw the right is I didn't want to open up my body because mm -hmm. you don't want to open up your body to 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 a body snatcher like like Canelo. So he had, gave a very credible answer. It's because like once you once you do um, um, go on the offensive, you open up and that's yeah. it, and you leave yourself to the knockout. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, I can't, I can't I can't see a better answer than that. Yeah. The guys still weren't satisfied, man. Books and camera people, these interview people, they don't know. How they to don't know the ins and outs. They, yeah, they don't do you know, know what is? Let me kind of give you another um, breakdown of it. So basically, what what was happening in the fact was he was being obviously told by his corner, yeah. Buddy McGurk. You know, use your jab, you yeah. know, pour, use your jab, this stuff, yeah. and you know, keep your shape and just, you know, keep move around. Shape. The thing was, he was, he got countered a couple of times, and that's what he was really afraid of, yeah. the counters. Because anytime, obviously, if, if he opened up with the big shots, he's obviously a big, slow guy, he's not going to get back as fast as Canelo's going to throw that hook. And Canelo was, was yeah. you know, was lighting him up a couple of times. And even Canelo, he had to be very, very patient because he could see yeah. that, um, um, Kovalev wasn't Kovalev's mm -hmm. normal self in terms of the output because mm -hmm. he was jabbing, double jabbing, triple jabbing, and he weren't really throwing the right at all. Um, normally, you know, he'd throw that right so he could command respect mm -hmm. off of his opponent. And what was happening is Canelo later on just said, You know what, there's nothing for me to fear here. Mm -hmm. This is an old man, we're going into the later rounds. Um, you know, I I'm the younger guy, I'm the hungry guy, I'm the stronger guy, and you saw him start to put his shot selection together. Mm -hmm. But I felt that um, Kovalev should have probably said, you know what, this is my division. I'm the 175 champion. Let me give this little boy uh, something to respect me. Because he didn't, he didn't give him nothing to respect him for. You know what I mean? So basically what was happening, he was like, he weren't fearful of walking into that right hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So then there was nothing to keep him off him. So all he done is he kept coming, snipping, and just was waiting and trying, you know, he was trying to the body sometimes, but he was trying to throw it in. Yeah. And what he was waiting for was the counter. And he's done it a couple of times, and then my mum was like, oh, dude, yeah. you know what, let me not let my hands go. Let me just keep it tidy. Yeah. And, but I think if he did, I thought he boxed really well, actually, to personally, in my opinion, because he did um, a few one-two, um, one-two ones. What he does sometimes, um, he did look good. I think he was in. For me, I felt like he was possibly winning that fight. Um, but I always knew Canelo was gonna up the gears, and once he started getting that combination punching, he was gonna get him out. The stoppage looked a bit kind of strange to me. The way it just came out of nowhere and the way he went down, I didn't see it. It didn't seem like it was that big a punch. Mm -hmm. Um, and when you're talking about guys coming up from middleweight champion to fight the 175 champion, there's big guys he's been in. But and he, um, I think you have to bear in mind that there was a rehydration clause. Yes. And yes. Then there was a. Um, yeah. And there was that's a all, that's normal. That's normal for. Fight. Yeah, no, but that's normal for Canelo. He why, why, smashes, why, why, why he get he smashes that everyone. Why, 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 why is he always? Why has he got so much damage power? Because it's about, it's about money. It's money, about I know, man. It's he's, wrong, he's, though. He's, it's wrong, man. Even, he's, he's got the judges in his hands. Even as a challenger, yeah. Canelo came out second. As the champion should. He came out second. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah. like... I'm like the show is his show. He yeah. so he does what he wants, does it? And like, like is that the same thing Floyd done? And the thing about you know is, and, and uh, you know, you know when they, when they stopped the fight, they said that he was up on the scorecards. I had Canelo I mean, covered him up by three rounds. That's a travesty, man. Yeah. How does he get away with it to this day? Because he, <laughs> in a sense, this the judges, the, the judges, the judges, they get the, they, they get the, the business class flights and the five star hotel suites, and they get looked after. And their golden boy said, "Well, you know what? If you look after, if you look after us, we'll look after you." Exactly. It's just like, it is. They're doing it in a roundabout way. It's a dog eat dog world. Everyone's got, to, everyone's got to save themselves. Yeah. And, and they've got to protect themselves. Yeah. Even if it means at the demise of a next man. Yeah. It's a, you know, self-preservation. You've got to look out for yourself first. And that's how all the judges in boxing think. Yeah. Field, all the judges, all the they want to keep the gig going. They, they want to keep, they keep they the party going. Work. Yeah, if they need to work. Gets beat, money, so. yeah. If they want to get speed, there ain't no more work for them. They yeah. need to get booked in again next week. Yeah. Can they not fight again? Book us because we're going to make sure. There's got to be a commission or independent commission that can stamp this out, man.
Bullshit rules. Anyway, <laughs> so what, what the system is is Canelo is a megastar. He's not even a superstar anymore. He's a megastar. He's a four weight world division champion. He picks the right people at the right time. Not to say he cherry picks, but I mean the champions he's picked, they were on the one. He's done great. Golden Boy has done great in that aspect. But to say he cherry picks is a bit far fetched because he's fought Triple G three times, no, two times, and he's fought, and Daniel, and, 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 and he fought yeah. Daniel Jacobs. Good judges, man. I understand. Um, I had um, Triple Make G win judges. both of those ones. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. But he lost. Um, he was having trouble with. What's the. Ah, oh, bloody. His name was on the tip of my tongue just then. Is that Jacobs? Not Jacob, that was, he had a hard fight. Jacobs was lighting him up yeah. as well. Even that fight was questionable if he won. But no, there was another guy named um, Austin Trout. Austin Trout. Uh, that was him. that was close until obviously until yeah, he got yeah, yeah, so, yeah. his ass smoked. But I mean, listen, Canelo is an undeniably talented, talented individual. He's only 29. He's done so much in the sport. Um, he's four weight champion. He's only 29. He's coming into his prime. He is a monster. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, irrespective of what you say, the locking, the locking, decision, should have been so him. The, 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 the money was in invested in him is such a will that it can't be, it can't be, it won't be stopped by the likes of any uh, Triple G or any Danny G. Mayweather, Messi, Mayweather. The reason why they can't mess with Mayweather because Mayweather's got more money than Canelo. Mm -hmm. They got more money than Golden Boy. So you can't, you, you out trumped him. Exactly. He, you can't come, you can't come with that bullshit with Mayweather. He goes, you, you got ten dollars, I got fifty dollars. Have some of that. That's why you couldn't mess with Mayweather. Do you know what? Yeah, it's like, it's like to put, it's like to get, it's like for a fighter to get himself in a position where he's able to go out there and to cherry pick opponents mm. takes him having to go through the fire first. Mm. He knows how to fight all of these hard names he's before he got himself in a place where he's able to do what he wants. So he yeah. had to go through the half stage. The same thing Floyd done. Floyd had to fight Oscar De La Hoya, Vicky Allen, all these massive names before Floyd was like, you know what? Now I can cherry pick them. I can put a rehydration clause. I can make what it on my bullshit, side. man? Rehydration club, what's that? What, man can't drink? Can't drink water? It's nothing to do with that. These guys, some of these guys, the well, these guys are naturally smaller fighters. Yeah. Yeah. So what happens is, you got to understand they're fighting bigger guys who will come in like um, 15 pounds, 20 hear, pounds man? over. No, if, listen, if you're in, if you're just A side and there's a B side, there's sometimes these things need to be done because basically what would have happened with Kovalev, he would have come in like if he's so a one he wants to fight a drain fire basically which you potentially but think about what's this he would have come in somewhere like he could have come in like true, what, it? oh no yeah. like, i want to fight a drain fire so i'll have a better chance of yeah, you. you can't drink water you can't drink water drawers is a, is a natural source of life you can't drink water but then i'm saying he might have come in somewhere like 190 200 so what he didn't want to do and then he then he'd be too strong for uh, yeah but that's the point you can't go up to that means you didn't win it fairly you want to light heavyweight but you didn't really win it right because you 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 fought you fought a, a, a drain like heavyweight you didn't fought a full a fully a fully um you know f um fit at the end, end of the day boxing, you ain't got water you're not fit at the end of the day boxing's not fair it's not about being fair life isn't fair it's, it's it, about man. it's about winning yeah, but what they're saying is if you drink water we're going to give you a fine we're going to give you half a million dollars for every pound over over the limit he's been able to do that that's madness he can do that because he runs this game right now that's crazy though so if you, you want some water want some water now nah, it's going to cost you half a million quid for that that, that bottle of EV yeah? don't drink that bottle of EV it's going to cost you half a million yeah I how is that fair man but this game's not that's fair bullshit. game these fighters are not fair it's a doggy dog world a doggy dog game it's a business win at any expense and that's the end of the game and that's how it works it's sad but it's, the, but it's the truth. Anyone, What's wrong, man? Anyone would go. How's he get away with it? How's he get away with it? I mean, how, how does he get away with it? Anyone would do it. Anyone would do it. If they I, can. I personally know what. have done it anyway, so it happens a lot in boxing. There's always rehab. But there's a, a, a big thing that we it hasn't been like that in the past, man. That past, when they. Maybe the way Maybe went up to Canelo's weight and, and made middleweight and he, he didn't yeah, do that. No, there was a hydration clause there also. No, no, but maybe we maybe, maybe said there has to be. There's going to be no. Um, um, what's it called again? Um, you know, we, we, the catch weight. He fought many, many. He done with De La Hoya. He said, "There's no catch weight. I don't care what weight you fire." I'm sure care. most of these I guys. I swear to God, he's done it a few times. I'm sure. Diego Corrales and there was enemy. There was no before. catch weight. Like no, yeah. I know he was fighting a uh, smaller, but I'm saying I know maybe he was done it about a few times. Check, check, check the records. Um, the people out there, someone out there can can check the record. I'm sure that maybe about fought a few people where he doesn't even care about the weight. He said, "Fight at whatever weight you want, at whatever, and I'll fight you." And that's the truth. Hey, I don't have the answers. It's possible, but I know he's done it in the past. Yeah. So why can Mayweather? Mayweather, 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 Maywe
<laughs> we're gonna wrap it up there. The double D podcast has come to an end. We probably might get sanctioned and shut down because of all the slanderous stuff. This gentleman, the here truth, the truth, the truth, to, to, the to, truth. To punt and push I'd rather be hated for being telling the truth than, than love for being a lie. You might yeah. fucking get glassed down the road by some fucking Mexican. You get this- <laughs> On the show, the double D podcast. Thank you, man. Wicked. Take care, guys. <laughs> <laughs>